<laughs> this feels weird. <laughs> it does. Uh, well, I mean, here we are. So this week, honestly, we had no clue when the network was going to decide to... We know it's typically like six weeks out, but, um, you know, they try to keep it like a secret even from us up until they release like a press release and uh, do like all the PR blitz for you know letting us know like when a new season's going to come out and so we've had to be tight-lipped over the last since the hol- last holiday season like you know like close November. to six six to nine months now but we just wanted to give you like an idea of our thought process because honestly a year ago like we honestly we didn't think we would ever come back like we two years ago yeah two years ago we were just like, okay, yeah, I mean, this has, like, been, you know, a great season in our life, um, but we just felt like our time has come, and, you know, it was just time to step away and just focus on our family and other other projects and stuff that we had going on. Yeah, I think ever since COVID, I mean, really, that sh- impacted and changed a lot for a lot of people around the world, and um, we were just finishing wrapping up one of the last seasons of out daughter that y'all have seen um on tv and you know COVID took a big turn for just like how things are done how do businesses work how do people work at home and how do you do things with your kids so there just was a drastic change for not only everybody else but for us too and so that really kind of uh we kind of took time at that point to kind of just reassess and say okay god what do you what what what's in our future now? You know, we had been filming out daughtered for, you know, five, six years. Um, and that's all we knew. It's all our life was with, you know, having quintuplets and being a family of eight. And, um, the show followed along pretty much since they were babies and had come home from the hospital. So, um, when everything kind of had to shut down and we wrapped that, uh, season last season about daughter we decided that you know we just really need some time of rest and replenishment and um kind of just weren't really sure at the moment what the future of out daughter was or what our life um publicly sharing across network television was going to be like um and i think you know kind of speeding up we kind of just said you know god's kind of pushing us into just a time of rest and some replenishment, like focus on the family and just reconnect um, and just have a break. And um, it was a hard decision, um, but we know that it was the best thing um, that we needed for the family. So I guess I think about six months um, into, you know, taking that time of rest, we kind of talked about what is that going to look like? What, how is our life going to change? What do we need to do? What is God leading us into? And that time of rest was just really, it was very much needed. Um, We took a lot of time off um, and we just had to take time to reconnect as a family. When COVID and, you know, things shut down and we decided to, you know, finish that last season of Out Daughtered and take a break, it just kind of seemed very fitting at the moment. You know, God taught us a lot during COVID um, and spoke a lot to us at that time. And um, so we did take that time of rest and said, okay, you know, we we don't think um, right now is the time to film. And we just said yeah. no. Um, I think c- never any kind of yeah. um, like bad blood, I guess you could say. No within the network or whatnot, but we just just really needed some space and some time down and just to really rest and replenish ourselves and our souls and our, our bodies. Um, I think we're, uh, like we're, we're very sympathetic, uh, are sensitive to, you know, just cues that the girls may say or how they act and pick up on. And it was honestly, it was, it was through COVID, you know, like a typical season of this show would take three, four, five months tops. And through COVID, it took close to a year. And because everything, it was just, you know, naturally, all you guys knew. Um, is what you see. <laughs> going, going through COVID, I mean, like, it was just hard to go anywhere. 
and that's whenever you know we'd really started talking and like look let's just uh let's take a, a season of rest and we let you know we finished that out that season and then you know we decided just to step away you know, we, we honestly, it wasn't just TV. We said no to a lot of things. We, we said no to a lot of projects, very lucrative projects that we could have stepped into, business opportunities that we had. And we said no to it all. And we just wanted a time of rest. And um, and so, yeah, I mean, we it was, you know, close to a year and a half or so of just. It's literally been like almost three years. The girls are eight. Yeah, it's crazy (laughs) our life is a blur (laughs) you know i think through this through the last couple years um you know things started to get better and just like just felt a relief and stuff from a lot of things and you know our capacity you know kind of started to lift a little bit to where you know we could step into new things we you know, just started to do construction on and find a storefront for Grace and B. And, you know, that gave us the opportunity just to have the extra time and stuff like that to really um, kind of pursue that project. And, you know, so, you know, we focused on Grace and B and we focused on, you know, some other stuff with the family. And, you know, it was one week. Um, there was a, we had a message at church talking about, um, like fasting and, you know, just like hearing God and just like being still and like, and, um, you know, just to, just to be intentional, like seeking God's voice, seeking, seeking his word and stuff like that. And so, and we did this fast through our church and through that week of the fast, uh, we felt like God was very present in our life. Um, and it was interesting because we've never done a fast before, either one of us, of like that caliber. And um, it was it was cool. I mean, we weren't ex- we, ha- we had no clue what to really expect, um, honestly. And we were both fairly intentional about not speaking. And talking to each other about like what we were praying for, what was going on during the fast, we were gonna kind of regroup at the end, and like you know just like have like a little powwow at the end and say like you know I feel like this is what God showed me this week. I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to really um, feel God in that way. And if you've if you've done a church like a spiritual fast, you know what I'm talking about and how connecting and just how powerful those moments can be when you are saying, Hey, I'm going to fast from, you know, X, Y, Z. So ours was food related. Um, and so that just hunger that you strive and think that you need, um, and you really go into prayer during that time of like, you're hungry or you need this, or you're missing out on that. Um, it just really, it really, bond you closer to that, um, relationship that you have with God and you're, you're in need and you, and you feel the need for him more. Um, and it's interesting because he's always there, but when you're going through something, you feel more dependent when you're needing something. Um, and so we just kind of, we're in a, a new realm of just like, you know, church and our spiritual side and how do we grow in our marriage in our faith and as a family um towards the end of the fast it was very evident to me what god was saying um from three days prior to to people coming up to me or people coming up to adam that have no idea who we are um just in random situations um we were so aware of god's presence around us and putting people around us uh, speaking into us during that time during the fast, um, I was feeling uh, grateful for the life God has blessed us with and the children that we have and the community of people around us. Um, I was grateful for the platform that He had given us to share a story that I still don't even know why. 
I know God calls us to share our story, to impact others and to lead them to Christ. But I don't, as me as a person, I still am like, what is it that I need to say or do that is the moment, you know? And so, um, I was feeling a lot of that during the fast and I just, I, I didn't want to jump back into TV and that's what it, I was starting to get like re- recapping in my journaling. I was like, Oh my God, I think God's telling us to go back in the light. Yeah. Um, cause we had stepped out for at, at that point during the fast, we were already out of the TV world for probably a, a year, a good year. And I, Adam and I didn't really communicate about what we were going through because one, it's almost like you don't want to talk to anybody because you're hungry and then you're hangry and (laughs) you're like, I don't want to fight. So maybe we'll just be quiet and we'll recap later. Over Um, over a meal. Over a meal. (laughs) (laughs) When we're we're happy again. Um, But yeah, it was, it was very interesting that week um, because things were happening in both of our lives uh, we we truly feel that God was bringing people to us that week uh, with very specific things. Like, yes, we, you know, here in League City, like, you know, we're always out and about and running to the grocery store and we're here and there and people walk up to us and, you know, obviously see us with the kids or see us alone. And then they'll approach us and say, oh, you know, we love you guys. Like, we love your show. Thank you for what you're doing. But this week was different. People were coming up to us with very specific things this week. Like this, like I was dealing with this hurt or this pain or something in my life and watching your show and it was this specific scene or it was this specific episode or it was this conversation that y'all had on your show that spoke to me and it helped me through this season of my life or this struggle that I was going through. And it was stories like that. I mean, like at least at least we... at, at least like a dozen stories like that over over the course of this week yeah. through for for both of us. I'll be raw here. It's kind of weird, <laughs> like someone coming up to you and telling you, like, "Hey, I don't I don't know what this means, but I feel like God needs me to share this with you." Yeah, something something and speaking into your life so specifically. No one has there, ever done that it's, before. It's hard to deny that, like, it's not you know, a higher power speaking through that person yeah. to touch you. I mean, someone and came into the boutique one day who didn't know I was the owner, who didn't know, you know, anything about my life or my life story or my gospel story. And um, we just started talking and helping buy some clothes and get some outfits. And then her husband was there and he just said, started talking to me and it was, it was so impactful to me that someone who didn't even know my story was speaking to me in a time that we were intentionally focusing on, like, what does God want out of us? Like, where, where's our next purpose in life and where are we going with this? And so though, you know, you as a viewer or a fan or whatever, uh, like we still, we still need people too in our lives to speak into us into, um, we still pray about this and like, God, like, where do you want us to go? Like this, this life is hard. It's not, it's not a life that I think I ever would have ever thought or dreamed of, um, much less having six kids. Um, you know, and so whatever I thought life was going to be when I was 12 years old or 25 years old or 35 years old, it never, <laughs> would have ever been this. And so, um, our, our spiritual and our, our spiritual side and our faith is, is our bonding factor of what has kept us grounded and, um, what we seek, uh, as far as how do we do something? How do we go through, um, infertility? How do we go through expecting quintuplets? How do we go through the NICU? How does our marriage survive this? How do we do a TV show? How do we, I mean, all the things like our faith is what keeps us grounded in and keeps the foundation of how do you do this? It is the one most asked question. How do you do this? How do you, how are you this mom? How do you, how do you and your husband still have time together? How do you, how, how do you go on dates? How do you parent your children? How do you discipline? How all, everything? How do you, how do you have businesses? How do you, all of it? And it all comes down to because we stay connected with God who is in the center and it might sound 
strange to some of you, but I'm telling you, that is why we're here today. And even two, two and a half years ago, if you would have asked me if we were filming out Daughtered again, the answer was no. But yet, here we are today sharing a story with you to tell you that we are still trying to abide by God's plan for us. And yeah. um, when we quit after COVID filming, we and going through time of rest, like we were done. Like we felt God say, this is it, you know, step away. And here we are two years later and the story of how it, you know, comes about from this fast is just mind opening to us. And yeah. um, there, there was also like a very specific thing. It was like one of the last nights of the fast. And, you know, we would always like break out. So every evening at our church, every evening, uh, it was usually like centered around dinner time. You know, we would have this like worship service just so that you could go to the church uh it was like an hour-long service where it would kind of just distract you so you weren't thinking about eating (laughs) and so uh but at the end of each one of these nights we would break up in groups and we'd get with like people that we didn't know and we would just kind of pray for each other and this man that didn't know me i had to introduce myself to him so he didn't know me he didn't know we had all the kids we didn't know we we had a tv show and and he's like hey you know i I feel like god is telling me i need to tell you something and i was like okay and uh and he said god gave you a story and a platform and and you stopped walking through that door and he's telling me that he wants you to continue that. He wants you to step back into that. And he's like, I don't know what that means. He's like, I don't, I don't really know what this, why I'm, I should even be sharing this with you, but this is what I feel like I'm supposed to tell you today. And, uh, and it was alarming. I think you had a very similar story as well with that. And, and so like whenever we regrouped at the end of this fast, um, you know, it was apparent to us that it felt like God was like pushing us back into this. And so we were like, okay, well, next time, next time the network calls, like we're not going to seek it out, but next time they call, we'll hear them out, hear what they have to say. And this time around, it was literally two days later. It was one of those calls that was very much so more than just like a check your pulse call, like. They were, it was a lot more serious of a call, like, like we really want y'all to come back. And so that's what really got us talking and like kind of obviously negotiating because at that point, like contracts and everything was like expired uh, just because we didn't think we were going to go back and we didn't think we needed to renew anything. But it led to where we are now. Through, through this time, there was things that we wanted, you know, because obviously our story and our show is very personal to us. And so whenever we came back through negotiations and stuff, you know, we just felt like, you know, if God is really like involved in this, you know, he's going to direct like all these negotiations and stuff and like make things just work out. So now here we are months later, all the way at the end of the negotiations, um, you know, we were, we were able to work something out that both parties was happy with. And um, I mean, even to the point where like Danielle and I are now, like executive producers in the show which have a lot more input have a lot more of a collaboration with the network have a lot of more say so as far as like creative direction uh storyline stuff like that which is really cool and exciting for us and um and so it it just it it gives us a lot more peace of mind which shows us that god was kind of just like working through the whole process and just kind of made everything come full circle and 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 made the situation as a whole you know better all around for for all of us yeah and i think that there was some anxiety in the the okay what are we going to go back to you know this being the life again um we've had this time off we've found a new like 
direction and just like replenished our souls and stuff. And, um, you know, we do, we do believe that God was placing his hand in the decision going forward as far as to, uh, be back on TV. And I, I honestly still struggled to even vocalize that because it's not a life that I feel like I'm meant for, but apparently that's not what God says. <laughs> um, so there is a lot of fight still with, you know, living that life and having to produce and perform that life as far as for a camera and have a reality show. Um, so I think when we were going into, you know, okay, if this is a trial and error type thing, we've made a lot of changes and we'll see if this works for us. And, um, it was so rewarding. I think at the end of filming these episodes that y'all start to see, um, and just see how completely different the dynamic across everything was. And, um, it's very humbling to, to realize, like, if you do things and follow and abide to God's path, the path might still be narrow, but it's going to always be rewarding at the end. And, you know, going through starting something and not knowing what it was like, you know, whether I, we had a show or not, having quintuplets was, I didn't know how to do that either. <laughs> So that was just another level of like, you know, okay, God, I, I am abiding to you. You've, you've given these babies to me and I might not survive. They might not survive, but you placed them there and this is your plan. And we've abided to that and we have followed and we, we are continuously seeking him. And I can tell you, that's another example of, you know, living out your faith and like following that line of um, what God's purpose is for you. And I'm not even quite sure what the end is in this story of sharing, but I do know God is faithful. And if we continue to follow under that light of his, um, it's going to, it will come together for his good. And that's, that's, that's beautiful to see because in a, in a, in a time where you are going through a season of life and you're stressed, you're uh, overworked, you're, you're, you're tired, you don't know what you're doing. Like it just, it's pure chaos. Um, you have a lot of fight in you and you retract from things and whatnot. And so, um, that was, it was hard to say, okay, well, you want us to go back into that life where it was, we just, everything was too much, you know? And so, this was just completely different scenario and we just felt God laid it all out. And if we said something and it said yes, then it was like, okay. And if it was something that came back as a no, okay. Like we didn't, we didn't pursue it. Um, like we wanted to do it. <laughs> is, that, is that how you say that? We pursued it as, we're abiding by you, God, you protect and plan this and we want to follow. Yeah. Um, it was very day by day and, and I'm not but saying also, it was an easy decision e even yeah. then, but, um, but, but also I feel like he gave us a new perspective, right? With, totally new perspective with our show and like our mindset and filming episodes and everything. Like I think at the very beginning, whenever we originally, I mean, right as the girls were being born, whenever we originally signed up for the show, you know, we were very naive, obviously. I mean, who knows how to even navigate all this stuff um, in thinking that our TV show was going to be the platform for sharing our faith and, like, all that stuff. And, and I feel like there's, there's no way to hide that at the beginning because it was such a miraculous thing that was happening around us. Uh, that just kind of shone through. Um, but then, you know, over the course of the years, you know, just you just get in the rhythm of TV and stuff, and you feel like it just kind of loses that a little bit. And But as we stepped into this, like, new season, um, we felt like God was showing us, like, look, no, 
No, the show itself, Out Daughtered, is not this platform for you to share your faith story. It's going on a secular network, all this stuff. Like, I don't want you to be so heavy-handed with that. Um, what your job is, and we actually we, we're looking at it more as, you know, a job. Like, so our job as a family, as the Busby family, is to go out and put something out there that's entertaining that families can sit down and watch together and it brings joy to their homes you know it's not you know some ulterior motive or agenda or anything it's just fun family entertainment that they can sit down and it brings joy to homes <laughs> and i still laugh because i still think who watches this yeah stuff? <laughs> and then outside of that I will give I will grow your platform. I will give you ways to share your story like elsewhere. This. And so here we are right here. You know, we have our YouTube channel. We have some other projects over the course of the next, you know, months and years out um, that we're going to be starting and launching that, you know, gives us other opportunities to share a story and what is really going on within us, within our hearts, within our family and stuff like that that we can't wait to share with you. But, um, you know, we just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of our mindset with, you know, as we've just announced that we're coming back for a new season of Out Daughtered. You know, we're excited. It's 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 a different, it's going to be a different look this season. Um, you know, there's a, there's a few changes that were made. It's not going to like quite look like the old Out Daughtered. I mean, obviously the kids are a lot older. I mean, they've grown a lot since you've seen them last on TV, and they've matured. They're communicating much more, and it's just we bring. Uh, if we brought the chaos before, we're definitely bringing it this time around. <laughs> um, but it's it's just opening up a whole new set of dynamics with now, you know, opening up a, a local store in Grayson B, uh, where Danielle's, you know, Danielle's going to be at a lot. I mean, she's the face of the store, so she's got to be there a lot, which changes the dynamic of our home as well and so you know our our motto as a family has always been like oh figure it out we're gonna figure it out yes we're figuring it out as we go but also like the new motto for this family is like divide and conquer and so we're having to divide up a lot and like kind of figure out as we go like oh danielle's gonna i gotta be here i gotta be here like so what do we do with the kids and either split them up or i got them today or or whatever and so things are changing a lot and it just keeps us on our toes and you know you'll definitely see that in this new season so um we love you guys and we thank you guys for for just following along so closely for loving our family so dearly and we just can't wait to share this new chapter with you and thank you for yeah. sitting through this whole long video even though i'm gonna if try to cut it down a little bit um <laughs> Because I'm sure we rambled both of us, and so I'm going to try to chop it up a little bit. But, uh, yeah. But I, but I also would like to say is that um, I'm not very good at this. Like, want to sit down here and talk, whatever, and share my feelings. Um, but I will say that it is very um, impactful, and it's very um, though. I speak for myself. Don't have a lot of or enough time to say thank you or to respond to emails or respond to social media messages or all the comments. It's a question I get asked all the time. Why don't you ever respond? Well, guys, I literally don't have time for anything, but I'm trying to get better at it. Um, doesn't mean I'm going to catch all of them, but I will say that your messages of encouragement of, um, how someone can, how someone touches your life, whether it's us, someone else, your brother, your sister, a friend, a neighbor, I don't care. It is, it is very, um, encouraging to share that with someone, to share that with the person who has touched your life. Um, you know, I, I, would never have expected some of these random stories to impact me so much. Um, and I would say this life is hard. It's hard to, uh, you know, be a mama six, to be a business owner, to, you know, be a wife, to be a sister, be a friend. And I mean, all the things, but one thing that it, 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 
we all need is some positive re- encouragement in our life. And I think anybody across the world could would never say no to anything positive spoken to them. And so I encourage y'all to continue to pray for us, lift us up in your prayers, send us encouraging uh, messages and emails and stuff because they are, they are important. And, and I do read them guys. <laughs> like, and I'm just sorry, I'm not emotional and I'm not really good at words. I, sometimes I blab on too much. And so Adam will probably have to cut me out a lot of this video. <laughs> <laughs> but um, they are important. And so I just want to leave with, you know, it is encouraging, especially this day and age when everybody sees negative before positive. So just kind of, you know, thank people in your lives and encourage people in your life uh, to know Jesus and to follow them because that's when you'll have the eternal reward of, you know, just never ending joy and love so i think that does it (laughs) peace out (laughs) peace out